Well, howdy, folks. It's your old buddy, Magnus Booner. If you like food that is inspired by beer and travel, smash the subscribe button for me so you don't miss any of my epic content. In this video, I'm going to show you the correct way to season a carbon steel wok. And we're going to get going right after I roll the intro. <laughs> If you follow my food porn on Instagram, you've probably noticed an increase in Asian food and wok cooking lately. That's because I got a new book. I got a book called The Wok by J. Kenji Lopez Alt. In this book, Kenji instructs us on how to season a wok. First, you're supposed to scrub it out with hot soapy water. Then, you heat it on a gas burner. If you don't have a gas burner, you can use a propane or a butane torch to achieve the same results. Or you can use an outdoor grill. I'm going to use my gas homebrew burner for this because it works really good. I recently picked up a wok for a buddy from a thrift store. It was in brand new condition. I'm going to scrub it up, and then I'm going to show you how to do this bluing process. Alright, well here we are in my garage. I got the garage door open, so there's plenty of ventilation. It's down enough so the neighbors can't see what a weirdo I am and what I'm doing in here. I got my buddy's wok. It's all scrubbed up, ready to go. And I've got my homebrew burner that I also use when I'm cooking with my wok. Safety first. I've got my hot mitts. And I've got a fire extinguisher, just in case things should go sideways. I am not a metallurgy expert. All the information I'm about to give you comes from an Amazon review that was written by a self-proclaimed metallurgy expert. Beautiful wok. And here is the only correct and complete guide to tempering this great wok. Excellent traditional carbon steel wok. But... And I emphasize this, it must be properly tempered before use. None of the YouTube videos or comments I have seen understand this process, and you probably will not either, so read on. This process of preparing the wok is not really a seasoning. That implies some sort of cooking process. What is needed is very high temperature tempering of the bare steel surface. This is metallurgy, not cooking. It is an ancient process used on steel to blue it. It is the same process used on old steel swords and gun barrels to give them a protective non-rusting black-blue coating. Let me explain the bluing process you need to perform on your wok. Carbon steel is chemically very reactive. It rusts. It reacts with oxygen and forms red oxide when exposed to oxygen such as water. Rusting or red iron oxide will form quickly on naked steel that is not properly prepared. The naked iron is also reactive with food moisture and food will stick to it. But black iron oxide formed on a steel surface that has been heated to high temperature is less reactive, more stable, and adheres extremely well with oils. When well oiled, the oil incorporates in the black iron oxide surface on the steel, thus provides a non-reactive coating that protects the steel. What you need to do is blue the steel. Heat it to a very high temperature and let the surface steel oxidize to black iron, also called magnetite. Again, this is not cooking. This is metallurgy! Let me repeat. If clean carbon steel is heated to above 550 degrees Fahrenheit, it reacts with the oxygen in the air and the surface of the steel will oxidize to black iron oxide. This black surface gives the steel a beautiful blue-black to aqua-blue patina. This blued steel or black iron oxide surface adheres quickly to oils. When coated with oil, the oiled blue steel is very rust resistant. It is also a non-stick surface for cooking and it has been used by blacksmiths and Chinese cooks for millennia to treat steel surfaces. The instructions that come with the wok tell you what to do. Do it, but they are brief. Here are the details. First step, you must clean the steel. It comes covered with oils to prevent rusting. You must strip all this oil off. Just wash it with soap and water. Some woks tell you to boil them out. Follow the instructions on the wok. 
Second step is heating to high temperature. The instructions say to put the wok on high heat until the steel turns blue. Few people understand what that means. It means really heat the steel. Really, really, really heat the steel. All of it. All the wok. This requires very hot gas flame. Use a 12,000 to 15,000 BTU or higher burner to do this. Most modern stoves have at least one big high heat output burner. Turn the heat on high. Put the wok on the flame and wait and wait and wait. You must heat the steel to over 550 degrees Fahrenheit, around 300 degrees C, before the steel will begin to oxidize properly. First you will see orange-yellow steel, then suddenly it will start to look blue. That blue is the black iron oxide surface forming. The black iron on top of the silvery steel underneath it gives it a bluish color. If you have properly cleaned the wok, there will be very little to no smoke. Smoking indicates you did not properly clean off all the oils, which are burning and smoking and probably contaminating your steel surface. Now watch the blue surface expand. Carefully turn the wok over to the hottest portion of the flame. Move the wok very slowly so the blue transformation moves all the way to the edge. Slowly, very slowly move up and down around all over the fire, working outward from the hottest blue edge from the center to the top, expanding the blue area. When you are done, the entire surface of the wok should be beautiful blue steel. This is the black iron oxide coat to the steel called bloom. If there are orange or yellow areas on the wok, you did not fully heat and transform them. Heat them again until they turn blue. Step 3. We are following the instructions that came with the wok. I am just explaining. Let the wok cool. If you put oil on a 550 degree Fahrenheit wok, you will have a kitchen full of smoke. When it cools down quite a bit, put it back on medium flame. Now oil it following instructions. This part may cause some smoke. If you are getting lots of smoke, turn the heat down. Use a high temperature tolerant cooking oil, like safflower oil, refined light olive oil, not regular olive oil, or peanut oil. Canola oil also works, but I hate the smell of hot canola oil. The black iron oxide surface you have created on your blued carbon steel wok loves oil. It combines with oil quickly. It hugs and bonds with oil. And when coated with oil, it is a surface that is both non-stick and non-reactive to rusting. Look at the color! It will be shimmering with an aqua blue hue, not a really black color. There you have it. You are now ready to use the wok. Alright, well here it is. There's that beautifully blued wok. Now, full disclosure, this had some aluminum rivets on it that came a little loose and I had to tighten them back up after that. All you have to do is put a punch on either side of those and tap it with a hammer to tighten them up. Well hey, there'll be a bunch of links down there in the description box for you, including one on how to buy a wok. If you enjoyed this video and you made it this far, give it a thumbs up. Find me on Instagram, this is my Instagram handle. Find me on Twitter, this is my Twitter handle. And you can find me on Facebook, I am Magnus Booner. And I'm going to be making another epic video for you real soon.